I'm going to put a towel underneath her, her, a bump underneath her calf, and that's going to bring the back of the calf out to me. That's perfect, just like that. We always address the leg first, make sure the patient's comfortable, and then uh, explain as, what we're doing as we're doing it. First of all, I'm going to be looking at the vein with the ultrasound from the top to the bottom, and then I'll mark my entry points by indelible marking pen so I know exactly where to put the Novocaine. What sort of symptoms are you having, if I may ask you, ma'am, that led to you to come to see me? Achiness? Achiness in the legs? Yes. You ever have any problems with uh, your legs at night when you're trying to sleep? Cramps or restless legs? Or? Not very often. Not, not very often? Okay. Last night you did? No. And I asked that question today because there's an entity called restless legs syndrome that is described sort of a, as a constellation of symptoms which really can't be attributable to anything specific by any objective testing. Patients complain of difficulty sleeping, their legs hurt them, their have, uh, they have to move their legs, they <clears throat> have to get up at night to walk, they have creepy crawlies in their legs, and it's a really a constellation of symptoms without any identifiable cause for that. We've seen that a, a, a number of patients that have had restless legs syndrome and severe insufficiency respond very well to uh, sealing of the veins or endovenous closure of the vein. I may, I may digress, I'm, I'm uh, now imaging the small saphenous vein. Pick my point where I'm going to enter it. I'll pick my point over there. I'm going to numb up the skin in a few places. One there, sorry. And one here. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm using the uh, 7 French micro introducer set that is provided by Venus Medical Technology. 